Welcome to the Michael Watt show. Now, just recently, uh, we just had a movie about a spooky cinema. It was called Nightmare on Belmont Street. And I hear, and I have with me one of the stars of the movie. So, he is my first guest, and he is the evil genius who lives in the Belmont cinema. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dan. Hello. Okay, now, hello, and welcome to the show. Yes, yeah, cool. Okay. Now, tell me, have you always wanted to be evil? There was no choice in it. I had to, I was just born with the ability to be evil. Uh, and how did you get the evil from? Well, I started small and worked my way up. Little rabbits and stuff. Uh, did you ever feel sorry for your victims? No. I can quite safely say I never felt any remorse. Well, why didn't you feel sorry for it? I'm evil. I'm not meant to. Okay, now, it's time to introduce my second guest, and he is the night guard of the, uh, of the Belmont Cinema, and he just got the job by the evil manager, uh, otherwise known as Dan, who died just recently on the show. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome um, Scott O'Brien. Okay. okay. Welcome, welcome to the show. Okay. Now, now, why did you decide to go for a job in the cinema? Well, I was short on cash, to be honest. Uh, I just really need the money to pay the bills, and because they were, uh, my debts were starting to stack up and stuff, so I just how, need a job. How much do you have? How much did you have before you got the job? Michael, you don't ask this sort of question like that. If uh, I told you, it'd make me seem okay. like a um, cheapskate. Uh, anyway, um, now, why did, now, uh, were you fit for the job, I think? Were you actually well, fit for the job? I thought so. I was looking for a job. I thought I had the, the right qualifications and stuff. And uh, I just applied and I surprisingly got it. Well, it's been great to have you on the show. So, thank you for being so Excuse honest. me, I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm Ladies not, and gentlemen, Scott O'Brien. I'm not meant to be here. Bye okay, bye. Off we go. <laughs> now, it's time to introduce my third guest. And I don't know why I have him, but I had no choice. So, I had to have him on the show. So, here's an evil zombie. Good. No scaring on my show. Good. Now, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the same questions I had to the evil genius. Now, have you always wanted to be an evil zombie? What? Ugh. Thanks. Um, do you ever feel sorry for your victims? For people around? I need a proper an I need a proper answer. You have nice brain. Well you're not having them. Oh. Um now now this is a bit of advice that the zombie's gonna give to you. Now, what advice would you give to someone who is watching the show right now who wants to become an evil genius? Don't, it's not a good idea, it's just like taking drugs. <laughs> Thank you. And it's time to introduce my fourth guest. He is part of the crew and he's worked with us for about five weeks. So, without further ado, please welcome the one and only Mr. Paul Foy. Hello. Okay, nice to have you on the show. Nice to okay. be here, Michael. Now, could you describe the movie to us, to the viewers at home? The film is a horror film set in the Belmont Cinema. Well, there's an evil genius who I think you've met earlier. Mm -hmm. Yes, a very scary character indeed. 
Uh, he's got an evil plan. I'm not quite sure what the plan is. I don't want to give too much away because I want the viewers to watch it and try and okay. figure it out. So you're not going to spoil the surprise for them? I'm not going to spoil the surprise for them. Okay, now, what have you done for about five weeks making the movie? I've just been there as a guiding hand, just yeah. taking the ideas and trying to help yeah. put them all together. Like filming, just like what we're doing right now, Got and some filming. Uh, doing some editing. That's a, I had a lovely yeah. lunch as well. Ooh. That's very what nice. did you have? A chicken, chicken on a sandwich with uh, we probably cucumber. Should, we probably shouldn't be talking about it. It makes the viewers hungry when we're talking about it. Okay. Um, okay, um, what advice would you give to people who want to do a film course? We would like to do a film course. We would like to do a film course. First of all, find us as one nearby, then apply for it. It's vital to apply for it. If you don't apply, you don't get the job. You don't get the job. No, they won't let you in. Ah. And um, and could you give the title of the movie to the viewers at home? Okay. The title of the film is A Nightmare on Bellman Street. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can stop laughing. <laughs>
How do we get? Where's Gareth? Yes. How do you know? How do you say that? We don't know where we are. Ah, uh, we're talking in the park. Unreal, mate. Unreal. How the fuck are we end up in here? Also, fucking Alice in Wonderland. I see what you're talking about. I don't recognize this place. Unreal. Maybe, maybe it's going to give us some magic mushrooms or something.
dead by popcorn. Pathetic. Why do you think all men are pathetic? Well, this is a cinema no one ever goes to, so of course there's going to be zombies. Damaging. 